Hey guys, um, so I'm making this video before, uh, also before surgery, and, um, I really don't like to sit down, uh, so much because, uh, I will be doing that a lot, uh, after surgery, so, Kiki Ola, uh, uh, YouTube subscriber, uh, asked about, um, doing a video of, um, how I got into cosplay and who or what inspired me. Um, so my uh, best friend, um, her YouTube channel is called Mermaid's Course. You'll find her channel. Um, anyway, my best friend is, is the one person that uh, first got me into cosplay. Um, I remember her first cosplay was a uh, Orihime from uh, Bleach, and I also remember that picture um, that was taken. But um, anyway, with that, um, I kind of thought it was you know interesting what she, what she was you know wearing and the character that she was doing, but I still did not understand what uh cosplay was because like i said in my one video when i was a re really young kid and i was dressed as ariel i didn't know that i was cosplaying um so anyway um like i said um part of it is to do with my best friend she um i also started doing another character she uh did Zelda so I thought that was like very interesting you know but um, I just thought you know back then um, I just thought it was just very strange that this person would dress up uh, more than once and uh, maybe dress up for me like a few hours or more uh, in a day or more days than that and so um, then I actually, uh, you know, it was just, you know, I never really understood cosplay. So later on, um, it was around 2015 uh, when I was really into uh, watching Yu-Gi-Oh! And... Um, it was uh, the one character uh, I got inspired by the show that um, his name was Dark Magician. Also, uh, before he was Dark Magician, his name was Mahad. So, um, <laughs> anyway, um, when Mahad was, uh, had transformed into his other form, which was with a uh, Dark Magician, um, purple hair and uh purple armor and stuff like that and so <laughs> and so because well i love the color purple purple is my favorite color so watching Yu-Gi-Oh and seeing uh the character dark magician i just got inspired by with him wearing purple and um, so I actually, uh, that's when I got an idea of, because I write stories, um, I created a character of my own original character that had nothing to do with any TV show or anything. Um, so I decided that my one character would have purple hair. So, <laughs> and my younger brother actually uh he actually got me a purple wig and so that's when i started to cosplay years later the wig was losing its wefts so later on then i had to get another wig and the other wig um is not so great anymore <laughs> um anyway um getting into more detail um 
because I write stories, um, I actually uh, get inspired to actually uh, draw more and uh, then I got the idea of cosplaying uh, more characters. So I started, started drawing more and um, then I decided I really wanted to cosplay more of my originality of characters because nobody can actually claim my character because I'm the one who actually have proof to show that I'm the one who did it and nobody else can you know take that away from me unless they really uh, try to convince somebody else but yes um, that's why I always say in my videos this is my original character so um, within cosplay um, I found out that it's actually more than just dressing up one, one time and for Halloween, this is actually doing it a, several more times. This is like doing it a lot more times. And actually cosplay was actually founded by a Japanese person. Not, I found out like, I don't know, I was doing research. So it was actually a Japanese person who came up with the word cosplay and what it actually, what it actually means and so um, um, cosplay is more about costuming and, and actually being the character, portraying the character um, and just embodying that character more than just dressing up and having fun like little kids. So um, Anyway, when I found that out, then I was like, okay, I get it now of what cosplay is. So I decided to take things to the next level. And I decided that I wanted to cosplay my own original guy characters besides uh, dressing up as uh, characters that people actually are, are well known for, uh, voicing characters like... Uh, Sasuke from uh, Naruto and Naruto Shippuden and Boruto was my own guy character of cosplay so um but as I drew more of my characters and then I started making adjustments with my uh, art drawing and so then I realized that um I can use more common clothes to uh, do my guy characters and female characters without spending so much money and um, so that's what I continue to do and so um, maybe three four years ago I was asked uh, to uh, cosplay Elsa for um, my niece's uh, I think it was her second or third birthday and so I said yes and so I actually uh, um, bought the uh, Elsa dress on Amazon and the wig so I <laughs> um, so then I did that I um, oh <laughs> The kids' faces were just so precious, especially my niece, and she just loved it. And she had, for the longest time, she had no idea that it was me being Elsa because she just thought it was just Elsa. And so <laughs> uh, we never told her until later um, <laughs> that was me. But, um,. So that kind of started me. I, I wanted to do it again. I wanted to bring joy uh, to children, you know, with uh, cosplaying characters that they actually know. So, um, lo and behold, I think it was like a year or two later that um, I was actually asked to uh, cosplay. Uh, at a uh, at a, I think 
a two year old um, for her party. And so at first I was asked to cosplay Elsa, but then someone else decided they were gonna um, step in and do Elsa. So um, I, uh, then I did, I got the Anna costume. So also when it comes to birthdays I, uh, for little girls, I decided to make jewelry with the theme of the party, which was Frozen. So I uh, <laughs> made uh, the little two-year-old girl um, some jewelry that I was inspired how to make for, you know, her birthday. And so I made her uh, to do with, you know, Frozen theme jewelry. And I did the same thing for my niece's uh, birthday. So <laughs> that's kind of inspiring with the uh, cosplay because I also can make jewelry. And I learned how to make jewelry because of watching uh, my best friend. She makes jewelry as well besides cosplay. But, um, like I just, I want to do more characters with a uh, cosplay, so um, I found out, like I said, of using common clothes, so I found clothes that turn them into cosplay styles, so I do that without spending so much money, and, um, and also some of the dresses that I have and, uh, were actually given to me, and I turn them if useful of using them for cosplay because I can't wear them uh, anywhere else with that and so um, that's what I do now and I am also probably going to be wearing th this dress for uh, a cosplay and I don't know what character I would use it for but um, this dress I actually got for the uh, the 1980s um, uh, party that I'll be going to, so <laughs> it's uh, a lot of fun that um, to be actually invited because it's uh, to celebrate for um, for helpers who actually help uh, with children, and I I help with the. Uh, uh, children's ministry and so it was very um, exciting to be part of that and I really really like working with kids so um, later on then um, maybe a year or two I was asked uh, for this children's ministry like during the summer uh, VBS that I was uh, asked to dress up for the children uh, of that ministry and you know just uh you know so the kids can get inspired that they, that they, they can um you know just have fun seeing me in these character uh cosplay outfits and you know and they can come up to me and they can say hi they can do a photo op and um, also another thing is photography. I got into photography, I forget how long ago that was, but um, that's also part of inspiration with uh, cosplay because I love taking photos. And so with the uh, cosplay and all that, and it just, with, uh, cosplay sometimes it gets to be where I have to change things up uh, with costuming or I have to change a character's name and so I actually um as part of why I like I doing with photos you know because I can go out and redo the character and then it's like, okay, I can explain, I changed the character's outfit because this happened or what. So, um, and each and every time I draw, um, whenever I draw a certain character, I get inspired to want to do it and to cosplay them. And that 
when I cosplay my own original characters that um, someone else cannot claim that it's theirs because I'm the one who is actually putting it out there. I'm the one who is the creator of the original art and um, and I'm the one who's making making videos about it and um, and I also draw and I write and I always talk about you know writing stories so that is part of why um how who and what and uh you know and whatever that like she kitty girl asked and said that it, it actually inspired me so that is pretty much how i got into cosplay um like i said with you know a lot of it had to do with my best friend and i'm the only person who can get inside the character's head and um come up with their own attire, their own outfit, you know, for their, for the character. And I like to try to give them more than just one costume. So I come up with uh, other stuff. And when I see other artists of, you know, like drawing and stuff with other characters, then I get inspired to drawing another character. And then I get this idea of, uh, drawing another character like uh then I want to get this idea of cosplaying the character anyway I just thought I would actually bring this all up to you guys and uh explain and I will see you guys next time